Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last we left off, we were about to set foot into All this sense. office using the key that Velasco was keeping on him. Ah, the chest. Incriminating documents. So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? These documents should go to the guard. We'll at least arrest his accomplices. Hmm. I'm actually curious to see something. Alrighty, I think we're good on that front. <laughs> and Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Hmm. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship, and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. Whoa, whoa. Don't you want to kill him? If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Well, what's his word worth? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. <laughs> Why the change of heart? What happened to getting rid of Castillon? I am getting rid of him. Through peaceful means. Coming from here, that's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Are you kidding me? Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. Uh, no. The slaver dies. Castillon dies here today. If I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Enough with the blackmail, then. Let's settle this like civilized people. Wait! No, Izzy. No! That's a, a horrible thing for you to do. How can you possibly condone doing that? Even slightly! Sorry, puppies. I know it's not your fault. Take care of yourself there, hon. Uh, heal yourself, maybe? Oh, you can't, because you just already did. So, use your health potion. Or something. Person's dead. And so will you be soon. Nice. Oh. Now what am I supposed to do with these useless documents? Not be a I heinous be bitch. Obvious, but I could use them. Fine, take the blasted things. Go dispense justice or whatever. After all we've been through together, how could you do that to me? I did what was right. Think about it. You know he didn't deserve to walk. <sighs> no, he didn't. I really hate it when you're right. I don't think Izzy was happy with that. Hey, Fenris. And now we have to have a chat with Izzy. Uh, Mabari? Don't go around looting Mabari. That's just dickish. Anything else? Okay. So, I'm gonna take it that Izzy. Yeah. 
Man, oh man, you think you know a gal, and she turns around and is all, Well, it's perfectly okay if you're still tra uh, trafficking humans and other animals and other species as, as slaves. As long as I get my ship! And again, as a side note, this place has been blocked off. No more Kunari. And no more ways to have fun with them. <laughs> or even enter that area anymore. I don't know why they specifically refused to let that happen, but anyway. Let's go to the Hanged Man. We need to catch up with Izzy. So, you found an archdemon yet? No. I heard they're all underground. In the deep roads or something. There's an expedition heading down there. You should go with them. What? I think I might. After a drink. There's what? An expedition going into the deep roads? What? Interesting. And she's walking around with her blades out. Hey, Nora. You and me. Anyway. Is he... You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Ah, you're still here. At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I <sighs> wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I am as well. You've been a good friend. And a constant source of excitement. Oh, you do know how to flatter a girl. It's funny. Now that I think about it, getting a ship just doesn't seem that important. Oh. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> A toast to friendship and to us. That's very sweet. And actually, if you had decided to let her keep the ship, she would be talking about taking you with her on the ship as part of her crew. I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a bath? I think you need a bath, yes. Do you feel like a citizen, Fenris? Excuse me? You've been in Kirkwall as long as I have. Does it feel like home? I have no comparison, really. It feels like a free place. Hmm, maybe that's enough. We shall see. Drinking from their tub again. You have to do anything with these dogs. I really should go see about some other banters. Let's go run about Lowtown. Actually, let's go visit Uncle Gamlin. You do not like your name. My name is a wish my father made, and I did want to be a knight, but... Hmm. I see. Still, it's a good name. A strong name. What were you named after? I don't know my real name. Yes, you do. My master called me Fenris, his little wolf. Could you not call yourself something different now? Couldn't you? <laughs> a fine point. Interesting. They do seem to have a bit of respect for each other. Let's go check in with Gamlin, see how he's doing. Really? Single-handedly Okay, the city fine. From the I keep hoping to run into Sherrod, I I admit. By now you must see what an injustice the Templars are. Must I? I see Templars trying to control what they have good reason to fear. But they go too far. Talk to Hawk about her mother. Hey! Ask her who went too far. You can't hold all mages responsible for that. It doesn't take all mages to cause this. Only the weak ones. Fenris, don't you dare go dragging my mother into this. No one gets to drag my mother into this. It's a douche 
Move! Trigger. Well, maybe I'm not Fine. Then I'm gonna go back out to Low Town again. Hmm. Fourteen circles in all of Thetis, huh? Do you still support the Night Commander? I don't care a fig for her, but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. You think? Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway. Justice, huh? No. Not yet. Although... Hmm. I am going to need... Alright, I need to get rid of these things. I don't need that, and I don't think I need... that. No, I don't need that. And I don't think I need the mage's friend either. And I don't think I need the low blade either. Or these boots. And let's get rid of some of the junk. Okie dokie. And yes, I am trying to show off the banters also. What have you got? Nothing special, huh? Hmm. There's a war coming. Does it feel different, fighting by choice? You were never ordered to kill? I was a soldier, but I was willing. I was willing as well, but not by choice. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Does anything in this mess. Interesting. Well, we do have to go take care of something. You know, I don't think I need... I don't think I need, uh... A rogue specifically for this one little quest. Hold there! Whoa! Who are you? The name's Evitz. As in Ebbets Marauders, the folk you killed a few years back. Oh, good. Now you're going to die for what you've done. Teleporting in? Look, you know, you know that I killed them. So, you're going to try and take me down yourself. Yeah, that worked out for you, didn't it? So, yeah, congratulations, Evit. Mm, yeah. Mm. It feels good to be captain of the guard, yes? No, I will not change the patrols around your mansion again. There's already been too many questions. <laughs> You wound my pride with such accusations. But you were going to ask. Eventually. I'll look at the roster and see what I can do. <laughs> I actually haven't gotten that little bit of uh, banter before. That's why it's a good reason to take in new people. Huh? You there. Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Your father sent me. I come at your father's request. You expected someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Um... Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. Fainriel! What? I, uh... I don't know where he is. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to my men? 
A key to your good and dead. Oh. Yeah, that works. You'll kill me until I'm dead. Sure. And you can enjoy that. It seems I must wait a bit longer for my love. Oh, thank you for your aid. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. Um... Okay. Well, good on him for taking the initiative, I suppose, but it is rather worrisome that it looks like he's learned a bit of... Well, blood magic. To manipulate people like that. Killing people through their dreams. I don't know. I'm always going to be... Hesitant. Well, it's official. I have traveled all the way from the northern coast to the southern. <laughs> Thank you. The Awergians... The Awergian... Scrolls. First aspect. Hmm. This is actually a rather interesting quest. Hmm. And that little thing is closed off now. Hey, Elfert. Goody. Oh, how the years have not changed this place in the slightest, except for the occasional thing blocking our way. Okay. Nothing down that way just yet. And it really is by chance that I know... Oh, come on. I wasn't anywhere near you. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Fenris! Don't go running ahead. Yep, this is what the Awirgan scrolls are about. A bunch of corpses and stuff. But that's not the last of it. Oh no. More corpses! Oh, please do come near me. But again, not the last of it. More of them? Ah, oh, cursed wave combat. expected us to kill these creatures so fast. Thank you, Evelyn, for keeping track. Madan? Oh dear. That's an arcane horror. And that's actually kind of terrifying. Whoa, hey, buddy. And I think you need to go into Panacea mode. And you need a health potion. Now, if you could do a group heal, that'd be great. First aspect, a physical aspect of something has been destroyed. 
Curious, sir, and curious, sir. What was all that about? We'll find out eventually, and I promise I'll actually uh, point it out to you when we do. Well, since we're closer to this exit than we were the other one. Fell a grenade. If I felt like it. Er. Huh. <laughs> Just realized what I said. If I fell like it. Oh, God. I'm sorry, if you're watching a Let's Play, you really should start expecting puns. It's your fault, do you hear that, viewer? It's all your fault that I'm making bad puns. Ah! Another Kunari sword. Good thing to keep exploring, then. And have a shield. Whatevs. And Magus. Places hunger for people to find them, no matter how disagreeable the denizens. I see. Fascinating. Take my shit. I don't need these. Gloves of the champion I do, but that I do not. Ring of the ferryman. Ooh. Ah. Karasten's belt. Interesting. Nothing special. But you can take my junk as well. Nothing else in here. And finally, this cave has been blocked. For now, anyway. I forget if it does open up again. I'm pretty sure, though, that once that thing's in there, it's it's gone. And it's a bit late in the game to expect it to open up again. Because Act 3 is the final act. Boy, howdy, is it one heck of an act. Ah, Embryum. Good. Well, let's go back to my estate, because I just finished a quest, technically. Welcome home, Messiah. Everything's quiet here in the mansion, for the moment. Puppy? <laughs> <laughs> quiet down now. Hush! Let's use our inside box. <laughs> inside box? That's precious, actually. Let's use our inside barks. Bark, bark, bark! I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I, I am going to keep pestering him. I make enchantments. Yes, you do. That big tower in the lake is scary. Right. He means the gallows, and I quite agree. Sandal? Could I have some salamanders, please? Don't do it. That's where the boom comes from, I think. Mm hmm. I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise. I make enchantments. Okay. That big tower in the lake <sighs> is scary. He means the gallows, and I quite agree. Your house is pretty. I like it too. Your house is pretty. I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise you. <laughs> Your house is pretty. And now that I've ended this video on a bunch of sandal talking, I will hope to see you on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age 2, where I go and take care of some of these other quests that have been waiting for me to go and take care of them. <clears throat> hope to see you next time, folks.